Whatever cannot be shaken will last if it's of God's kingdom. The question that many of you got to answer today is, is Trump of God's kingdom? I realize where we are as a people. I realize we are not all on the same page. I realize many of us in here hate Trump. I, I realize many people feel like Trump is a racist. Yet many of you have come around. God has opened your eyes. But if you want the proof today, I'm going to give it to you. No other president, no other president has been investigated any more than Donald Trump. They sent his associates to jail in order to try to get him. They have impeached him twice. He's gone through the Mueller report. They couldn't find one thing. They have made him a racist. They have persecuted his family. They indicted him in Georgia on election charges, indicted him in Virginia on the January 6th riot, indicted him in New York for supposedly paying a prostitute, Stormy Daniels, indicted him in New York for his real estate. They tried to take his properties. They raided his home in Florida. They arrested him in Georgia, embarrassed him, putting out a mugshot, convicted him with a rigged jury and an unfair judge in New York. Each one of those cases have all fallen to the side. He keeps on coming. I told somebody recently, the only thing they got left, they got to try to kill him. I just spoke to Elder Money and I talked just a couple of months ago after I saw all these cases beginning to fall, they got to try to kill. That's the last thing they got left. And that attempt came last night. If you don't know now that God's hand is on Trump, I don't know how you're going to find it out. Black people are going to miss God because of your own hatred. Your own reverse hatred. And you're going to miss God. The Bible says God uses the foolish things to confound the wise. Trump looks foolish in your mind. But God will turn around and use what you think is foolish. Foolish. 